ah, cliches. They're amazing things. When someone uses one, I just want to give them a high five. In the face. With my foot. And lucky me, they're the subject of this series. Each show covers a different subject, and this one is all about handshakes. A handshake. Really, a handshake. I flew here from New York to London, left my wife and kids to come here to do this shoot, and you want me to talk about a handshake? <laughs> yeah, I know how you feel. So let's get on with this, so I can get out of here too. A handshake can mean a lot of different things. Originally believed to be a gesture of peace, a handshake would show that you weren't concealing any weapons. It then evolved to represent a business contract, so much so that in some parts of the world, a handshake can even make an agreement legally binding. But for most of us, it's a greeting, a form of congratulations and maybe a farewell. In business, it usually indicates that both parties are happy with a deal, which in advertising is probably a bit presumptuous. Yet, skim through just about any business-to-business -business magazine and you'll find no shortage of stock photos of people shaking hands. You bring this cliché to me, we're not going to shake on it. Oh, David, if only more clients were like you. Instead, this is the kind of drack that too many marketing managers are happy to sign off on. Handshake won't make peace with me. That's the way to start a war in my agency. Oh, I'd advise you to close your eyes then, because there's more of this dross to come. So has anyone else got a problem with the handshake? Come on, now's your chance to speak up. Hey, I'm no cleanliness freak, but I'm not keen on a handshake. Give me a good old fist pump any day. But I don't think I'm cool enough to get away with that. So that's why I always carry hand sanitizing gel. Ah, that explains the slimy handshake then. That's a bit of a relief. So business is global these days. You very often don't even meet the people you're doing business with. Maybe the handshake is also a bit out of date? More and more contracts are done on the web with digital signatures, but no one's cracked the digital handshake. Now there's an opportunity. So the future of handshakes is handshakes with robots? That's like an even more terrifying version of the Terminator, where a robot comes back from the future to track down its financial advisor and renegotiate an interest rate on its mortgage. It'd be much better if we just agreed to not use this cliche anymore. Shake on it? Oh, fuck. Come on, <laughs> shake my hand. Oh. Shake my hand. Come on, oh, shake fuck. my hand. All right, then. Oh. <laughs> oh. My balls. Chalky my balls. Oh no. Oh no. Chalky my balls. Somebody get me a buck. Seriously, I need a bucket. I'm gonna be sick. This is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clichés are like insects. They're all around us, and if you get one in your eye, it's really irritating. But sadly, scientists haven't yet invented a spray to keep them away from us.